So another thing that we can change with reactions is the temperature. So it's very easy to uh, affect the temperature of a reaction. So if I want to cool it down, I can put it into ice water, or if I want to heat it up, I can put it into boiling water. But to understand how a reaction will be affected by changes in heat, I need to know if that reaction is endothermic or exothermic. So if you think about it, heat is either being absorbed or giving off, given off, depending on what kind of reaction we have, and it's almost like heat is uh, a reactant or a product. And so we're going to use that idea to make uh, understanding changes in temperature a little bit easier. So if I give you this reaction and then I have to give you some information for you to determine if it's endothermic or exothermic, in this case I've told you that delta H is positive 100 kilojoules per mole. Because delta H is positive we know that um, the reaction is endothermic. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and say that heat is a reactant. So as this reaction goes along, because it's endothermic it absorbs heat. So it's almost like heat is a reactant. And then I say which way will the reaction shift if the reaction temperature is increased. So Le Chatelier's principle says the reaction will shift in the direction that um, reduces the stress. So in this case the stress is increasing temperature so the reaction is going to want to go in the direction that uses up heat and that's to the right. As we go to the right we use up nitrogen and hydrogen and we absorb heat and then we make ammonia. So if we increase the reaction temperature the reaction is going to shift to the right. And the exact opposite is true. If I decrease the reaction temperature, we're going to want to shift in the direction that produces heat. So if we go to the left, we use up ammonia, we make hydrogen, we make nitrogen, nitrogen, and then we also generate heat. So if we decrease the reaction temperature, the reaction is going to shift to the left because that is the direction that produces heat. So everything is reversed with exothermic reactions. So with an exothermic reaction, it's almost like heat is a product. So we go ahead and write it on the product side. As the four reaction goes on, we use up nitrogen and oxygen and make NO plus heat. So the same thing if I was to increase the reaction temperature, the reaction is going to want to shift in the direction that uses up that heat. So if we go to the left, we use up NO and heat and then we make O2 and N2. So as we increase the reaction temperature, the reaction is going to shift in the direction that uses up heat and that's to the left. Likewise, if I decrease reaction temperature, the reaction is going to shift in the direction that produces heat. So that's to the right. As we go to the right, we use up nitrogen and oxygen. We make NO, but we also produce heat. So if I decrease the reaction temperature, the reaction shifts in the direction that produces heat.